Welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! New Scenario Meta Challenger Tempai In the right corner Weighing 1000 pounds with the ability to battle to infinity Tenpai Dragons Let's look up that stat sheet to find out Stats Strengths Can play 22 Hand traps. Weakness. Battle traps. Wow. Those stats look impressive, Duncan. In the OCG, they did really well. But it's TCG land here. Different beast, different rules, we can already speculate the matchup with Labyrinth and Pearly look to be a disaster. With Lab able to set threatening roar all the time, if push comes to shove, set dimension barrier. Pearly just putting up a towers. It's not looking too good for Tenpai. Also Tenpai has a very linear strategy, really easy to ruin the game plan. Lizzie this doesn't look good for Tenpai in TCG. Why are you all doom and gloom? Being linear is a strength, not a weakness, besides they can play some spicy tech like Arrival Rivals and Final Cross. But Lizzie, Tenpai get countered by threatening roar, Anti, Magic Arrows, Waboku, and most importantly Dimension Barrier. People will be prepared. Snake, Eyes will reign supreme. If you always worry, then you will never discover new things. Try it out and see it for yourself Duncan, you may like it. Quite right Lizzie, but you and I both know. Stats aren't everything, in this meta sane. You got me there Duncan. Okay. After that riveting talk with my host Lizzie, about Tenpai. Potential is S tier. Would you agree Lizzie? 100%. Lots of good things going for Tenpai, Duncan. It's cheap to get, easy to learn and hard to master. The way you can just stuff 22 hand traps and the deck is still playable. That's really attractive to a lot of players. It's also Dragons which is the most supported type in the game, but most importantly you can go over 9000 in battle damage, and that is what really matters in the end. It's over 9000. We come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate, right, is in your hands.